Hi there, it's great to be back on Real Deal with Honors. Today's episode will blow your mind. My name is Honors Zario. Do not go anywhere. Just sit back, relax. Real testimonies, real encounters, real experiences, real deal with Onos. My guest today is no stranger to the music industry, Nigerian music industry to be precise. It's someone who has been around for two decades. What? I remember, like, remember listening to a lot of his works. When you talk about likes of Sonny Neji, Paul Play, Dairo, um, the late Kefi, my favorite. I was saying to him, my favorite <laughs> of all the songs was Please, ladies and gentlemen, I have with me here today. It's such an honor <laughs> to be speaking to the legendary. Le <laughs> in fact, I have to say, legendary. It's like the seat is hot. Hey, so low. <laughs> the seat is very hot. What? Like, Did you hear my word? What? <laughs> you have to harmonize the word. <laughs> I am so excited. In fact, I looked forward to today. I'm sure I told a lot of people that I'm going to interview Kiss. I told my husband. I told <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's how excited I, I, mm. I was. I um, mean, it's so good to have you here. A lot of our genes may not, you know, they don't understand the feeling, but you know, <laughs> you they're know, getting there. They're, they're getting there, right? But as a young girl who came into Lagos, mm. um, 2000 and 2003. 2004 so and listening to music you know i was dreaming on you know working on mm. my songs and we had the likes of kefi you know blazing it you know and just hearing a lot of the some of the songs you worked with her was amazing especially also with timaya that was another person who um yeah. when we think about his work we hear Case hello production. Sure. <laughs> it's so great to be here. I've talked too much. Okay. So no. Case hello will be taking us on an amazing <laughs> journey. See, today, sit back like this. Make sure you don't go anywhere. Hey. Don't even touch that TV. Mm. <laughs> um, he'll be talking about the highs, the lows, taking us on his journey. Mm. Um, I, I get to hear this firsthand from him mm. today. Mm. So Case hello. Over to me. <laughs> yes, over to you. I'll be I'll be breaking in at some point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, where do I start from? I just want to do a quick rundown. Yeah. I'm I am Solomon Oyeni, that's my real name. And the name K Solo actually came from my dad. My dad used to call me Obaori as uh, King Solomon. You know, wow. so it was abbreviated to K, K Solo. Some felt K is Kelechi, something K is um what the name stuff on case? I actually just thought it was maybe like your native name that you now collected. Like I but did. I didn't just understand the solo <laughs> Then then the Solomon is the Solomon. Solo. Okay. So K Solo, that's where it came from. And that's why all my andus are Oba. K Solo, that's King oh, Solo. Oh, now it's making sense. You know, so mm -hmm. now that's where it started from. And um, I was I was born in Lagos, in Suruliri, and um Bode Thomas. Wow, the famous Bobby Thomas. Yes. <laughs> you know, I grew up in Suleri and um I studied I my I went I schooled in Lagos too until secondary. And then I moved to Nigeria military school in Zaria. Because my mommy apparently, apparently she's she's a military woman. She's a, oh, wow. Yes, she's a, a major, you know, so and um my dad's was a bank is a banker or just was a banker, he's late now. So yeah. and um I went to Nigeria School in Zaria. That was where I left Lagos. So I was supposed to move from Nigeria Middle School to the NDA. Okay. And I wasn't feeling the vibe again. <laughs> then at that time, music had taken charge of me, you know. And apparently, my dad did not like me to do music. Music. Mm. He was always uh, fighting me. Engineer, doctor, did they give you that too? Mm -mm, no. <laughs> my dad even gave me that. You have to die. It's good. You're, you're a science student. You have to be a doctor. I tried. I failed separately. <laughs> even in secondary school, I know I repeated class like. I repeat class once. You know, there are a lot of girls that are there's a particular girl, she's one of the big one of the biggest um interior decos in Lagos. She's worked for a couple of companies. She's my she was my girlfriend, and not just my girlfriend, but my classmate. When <laughs> I repeated class, she was ahead of me. So when those ones that met me in the old class come to me, you know, we met herself in the, <laughs> she will come to the class with her friends. They are looking at me, ah, big boy, this boy is dating senior. <laughs> I don't know, say, <laughs> say, say Carrie. 
Orukpo. You know what they say, Orukpo. Say it in English. <laughs> you have to transcribe. You guys don't study what Orukpo means. I will not say what it means. So, I Orukpo. So, apparently, oh I was, I, I went like that. My dad didn't know it was actually the cause of this, my music problems. Okay. That, I, that left me to where I am today. Mm. You wake up in the morning with your turntable, weekends, it wakes up very early in the morning. My dad is a Christian. And doesn't joke with making his kids get close to God. God, yeah. Only Saturday night would they get our life. <laughs> but from Monday to Friday is his life we live. He walk by oh, his time. His life. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean. You know, so on Saturday in the morning, he plays his turn table. Sonia Day blasting. Most especially Ebenezer Obey. Hmm. So and you know those two people have the roots, have some yes. root of music, music in them. You know. You know, me covering my head with my, my pillow <laughs> and you'll still be hearing the sound. <laughs> so I found myself in music. Now, yeah. should I shock you? I never had any official teaching for music. No official, like somebody showed me, this is how to lay your hands on the piano. Nobody showed me. Wow. I just found myself and learning. Then, and you know, then we didn't have like, uh, you know, online. There was tutorial. no school. There was nothing like that. It was, it was an ancient time. Yeah. You know, so... I just found myself doing this and to call it, let me move forward a little because there's so a lot to say. I went to school, I went to um, Unilag. I dropped out from Unilag because I could not cope of, because of, because music oh, did not Oh, you studied in Unilag at that time? Medicine. Okay. Because um, music could not let me cope. You can imagine from Unilag to um, offer. To do elect, elect. Oh my God. So I came out, you know, and I came with my dad, like, sir, now I am done with school, which is what you want me what? to do. Oh, wow. I want to do music. music. Can you help me? At that time, my dad was the general controller of IBWA, which he was, we later switched to Afrobank, and he was the regional head of West Africa. So he had the money. It was no problem for him to set me up. He told me, bland my face, like, yo, I'm sorry. If it's not something else, not music. But now the sweet part is this. I started doing music. I was playing at the club those years. You know, I started as a real singer. And when I mean singer, singer that I meant is not a singer of um, who was doing buttons, but I found myself in the region where everybody were not doing well, right? Mm. Now, I was playing in the club. I played in the Vakali Omozi club that existed in Lagos that year. I played in Pintos. I played in Why Not. I played at Sharaton. You know, at the point from Sharaton, I moved to Abuja. I was playing one man band. I was playing repertoires. I was always got a grand piano. Are you one singing as well? Yes. <laughs> so you're collecting all the money. <laughs> it was not that. Well, because of some guys were dull. So people could not do it because I actually had flair for music a long time. At the point, I was one of the contributors of Hip Hop World magazine. Oh, I remember Hip Hop So I will, I will translate R. Kelly's lyrics. I will, I will translate Mary J's lyrics. That was my my place. I was one that because then most of us know hear English. <laughs> so would they, would they I play, told you guys, I told you would guys. Would they play music? <laughs> would they hear? I thought it was you. And someone just says, Body, why are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so me, I need to now interpret it and give you the right English. Please. So you people go for that place to that hip hop because you want to go read lyrics. Yeah. You know, so I did that at the point, you know. Moving forward, I um what was that before I went to that place? So you you're, you're, talk, you're talking about how you went to different clubs. Yes, yeah, so I played in the clubs and, and then all that. how you now started translate um, I was doing that by the for, by the side. side. You know, yeah. so I was doing that in the studio. So at what point did you start really doing production for artists and who That's was your first? That was where I was going now, yeah. you know. There's a particular gospel music. See, you see, um, people, there's a, this this Bible saying says, train your child in the way you should grow. When it grows, you won't depart from it. I'm right? Yeah. Now, despite the fact that I had problems with my dad, I didn't like him. Wow. Because he didn't want me to do what I wanted to do. I did what he wanted me to do, but he didn't do what I wanted. And one sweet thing that, that made me always laugh, and I looked at my mom till date, is my, my mom, at the time that I started, started bearing the name Kesolo, 
My mom was just enjoying a cold up and down the old streets. <laughs> Yake solo. Elema. <laughs> Yake solo. Elema. <laughs> you know, she was busy enjoying that. You dare not call my dad. Daddy kiss solo near. He will call you. Come. Wow. Oru kati mo for my solo man. Don't ever in your life. I don't want to hear that around me. My dad was like that. Oh my you know, God. but my mom was enjoying the accolades. You know? Of course. <laughs> now, because of my growth and my dad didn't support me, I found myself. Um, I was talking to this year. I was talking to um, your um, what's his name? This year, um, your brother is my. Own, I call him my own. Um, it's my friend. I don't call him my friend. I will not call him my brother. <laughs> it's my friend. I will not call him my brother. If I would call him my brother, I'd probably call him maybe Shima Queen. We ask him my junior brother or my other brother. <laughs> <laughs> the one that produced your song, Wilson. Okay, I knew it was the one you were talking about. <laughs> I knew. It was I was one. collecting him one day. I said, "You and Wale say you're working with Yamaha. Mm -hmm. Yamaha sleep, you know. <laughs> we are the first that started doing micro production on Yamaha PSR 00.1. <laughs> when even they never thought it could happen, mm -hmm. we made massive hits that actually." went viral commercial music through the piano keyboard. Mm. So why am I going up and did the first gospel music I did was my first production was a gospel music I did on through the keyboard. Mm. And I moved it to a Baker studio. That was when I got to the studio first in my life. Now How was the feeling? Now that song, <laughs> you will not believe I did it too. Please give us the title of the song. It's called Mama by Bless Uche Martins. They didn't even know who actually sang the song. Really? Oh, really? Then, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Song was, I didn't even know it was produced by you. <laughs> that song was a problem on AIT that year. It was like, how much did you buy time or did we actually buy, buy the station? You know? That was the first gospel music I produced. And it was a gospel, it was was an able sound. No, but it wasn't, it wasn't an able sound. It was, it was Makosa Sukus. And then I think it was relatable to people just like what they can relate to. So it actually, that was the first one. Then because of the church boy, I, I got converted. I got, I got born again. And I now left the club. Okay. Left all the things that take me out at night and keep me over, you know, then back to the church. Then I started playing in the church as a church pianist. How was that? Yeah. Don't say too much about it, though. <laughs> Just chip in and move out. <laughs> it's a little bit nice. <laughs> I, went, I went through it. It was a process. process. <laughs> Better. <laughs> you know, then, I, then, then after that time, I started getting introduced to the mainstream music. Music, yeah. You know, and... Um, Apparently, I worked with Sonia. I worked. I worked with Sh um, Sonia Day first. Okay. He was trying to do a remake of his old songs for the international market, like "Let the Feeling Show," "Let Your Body Roll," "As the Music Dig," as the modern, you know, that kind, those kind of music that had those jams in it. He wanted it to sound more foreign. Foreign. So I started working on that with him. From that point. I started working and I did a project with Charlie Boy, one ninja bike project. My ninja bike, you. She you wanna trust my ride? I did a full okay, album with him. I know him. that song. <laughs> <laughs> I did a full album with him. Then I think I co-produced one or two with Cobams that year, you know. And um, that was the introduction. I have been listening to IK Dairo, no Paul. Okay. I've been looking to IK Dairo. IK Dairo is one of the people that actually listen to that help my music, you know, um, background. And I had it as a son that does music production. Mm, and okay. he now made this, he did a remix of his father's song. It's even, it's even a remix. Yes, it's a remix. Oh, I thought it was his original. Me, brother, Jabo, it's his father's song. Mm, there was an okay. original song for it because his father plays the accordion as well. So he tried to infuse the accordion into the new one too. But it's, it's, it's a remix. That's why you had the rap in it. Yes, I know that. that mm, 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 yeah. mm. <laughs> well, 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 well,
We have to give you your flowers. Sounds like they remember like saying that yesterday happened. Hi. Kai. You know? So he had, he had, I I listened to that song and I and I I loved it. And I said it was a poor play. In my head, I was dreaming that, man, I need to meet this guy. Because don't forget, my dad didn't let me do music. Yeah. So for everybody I met, I was a less privileged. Mm. I saw them as everyone. I just felt they were in it. I just wanted to roll with them. Yeah. Somebody called me one day. Fast forward. I said, Paul Pe set up a studio because he wasn't based in Nigeria. Then he was based in UK. He set up a studio in Lagos and he needed a sound engineer. Me, me that I had grown myself as an audio engineer. I was I learned as I learned as an audio engineer. I was mixing for sound reinforcement live show. I forgot. I worked with Benson and Edges, the road shows. Okay. You know, so what was the first time we met people like Tony Okoroji and the rest of them? You know, did Benson and Edges road show that year. Why are you looking at me like that? No, I'm I'm like, okay. Don't worry, you do a lot of wine, find this more. <laughs> <laughs> because I've never had to. So, a lot, as you guys are listening to here, I'm carrying a lot of things for the first time, so I'm giving him that funny face. You know, so the road show Benson and Edges that we used to have, it, it was like a road show then, you know. And um, we had the likes of Oyenka went on, on, on the show too, as well, Black Kid. And, you know, less I forgot. Before, I switched a lot of things because I don't want to talk too much. Okay, I did Son in Ages Oruka. Oh! Yeah. Was that before um, Paul? Before uh, Paul Play. Okay. Before oh, Paul Play. So, mm. when I did that job then, and, ah, oh, a moment. I have a lot of story, and and we're, we're 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 so excited that you had the opportunity to get you to say it here. <laughs> For a lot of people that are doing music right now, doing are into adverts and whatever, a lot of you are enjoying. We actually went through a whole lot. At the time in my life, I was doing adverts for companies, and I did the popular Indomie noodles ringtone that. I developed that that tone. That tone. Oh, wow. That has been used for ages to date. And if I tell you how much I collected for you. Please don't say it. I was even going to say, I didn't realize it, but I said, okay, no. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Let's not advertise so them. So we, we've been through a whole lot. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, and it's a lot for me to make people bow out. So when I see likes of LD relocating, and I ask them, well, you actually called to be here. It's fine for us to have a bad economy or whatever. But the truth is... Before this. you get there. Before you get there. No, 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 no. Those are the lows. We are still on the highs. <laughs> You've not talked about Kefi. Yeah. You've not even get, okay. gotten there. Okay, so let, let me, uh, let so me, let me gonna, go back. So you're giving us a catalog. You've talked about Sonny Neji's song. You've talked yeah. about Paul Play. So they called me and I got to Paul Play studio on that particular day. Like in the sound engineer. They, have, they are done with the auditioning and the shutdown. I got there very late. I blew back, reached there. <laughs> And I met Paul outside. I was shocked. I was like this. Mm -hmm. I was even like, sir, I am supposed to come. <laughs> and one, Ken Richard asked me to come. And, yeah. We have, and, and Eric, put on the gen. Let him, let him get to the studio. So that means he actually has been seeing a lot of people come. And they've not been able to impress him. Yeah. And the studio was a studio in Lagos. It was the first studio in Lagos that had a Mac. Mm. A Mac G4. And wasn't designed for Nigeria, so it's always very hot. The weather is always hot, so it needed somewhere very chilled. Now, we go to the studio, local boy, we never seen Mac before, iMac. And you know there's a front, there's no, yes. no button. Let's use my head, I still look at the side, no button. He said, he said, put on the system. And I just did my hand, I did that, so one small button. And this one entered, just pressed it, just came on, you look at my face. Have you seen, have you ever you worked with it before? Mm, not really, sir. Yeah, he said, put on one of the apps and let's, let's, let's let me see. And I did that. And I, and I just clicked. And, and the mouse, too. You know, the mouse is not like the. Yes, the regular one. God, what do I do? I just saw it. So I, just, I just saw that he was pressed. And I just pressed on it. And it came on <laughs> like that. And it looked at me like, you know what? Resume tomorrow. That was it. Oh, wow. In my heart, I'm like, God. Finally made the poor play. Even I didn't see his father, his father, you know, but I made the poor play. 
don't forget I have worked with Sonny Sonny Lady. Lady. Yeah. I've worked on the Suche Martins. I've done some people that never saw the limelight. Mm. Plenty jobs. I think one of them just came to the studio and like, you don't know that guy that inside your studio. That guy, the word then, which I refuse to be. He said, that guy, that guy, I didn't want to Say, I refuse to be. <laughs> and like, he just walked in the next day and like, no, I think a week after. And like, you actually produce. And I look at his face like, me, one they call myself producer for when Paul the <laughs> Because I didn't even believe, if anybody told me Paul is not a pianist or whatever, or they use one Mago Mago to make production, I don't go believe. <laughs> So I was a full musician. I play practically all the old instruments. I forgot to say something. Why I was growing. I grew up with Mike Haremo. I grew up, oh. Mike, Mike was, Mike, Mike's aunt was living the next building in my house, a lawyer, you know, and there's one young boy that always make noise with trumpets. How <laughs> 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 that was Mike, oh my Mike Haremo. Oh, Nice. You know, <laughs> they met there. We had different ups and downs. You know, it was a troublemaker in the area then too. <laughs> you know. Fast forward. <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> to Paul. <laughs> you know, Paul and I worked in the that I'm enjoying like, the gist. Like, you are a producer. I said, yes. I, I know, I couldn't say it. He said, okay, anyway, let's do a song together. And be old. That was how Angel of My Life was giving birth to. Oh. Nice. That was the beginning of introduction to the, in quote, the classic part of music industry. You know, a lot of artists were pulling in, they started meeting K Solo, started wanting to work. They bring a lot of jobs. A lot of people didn't know for years that I actually did that enjoy my life. So they, they only heard the sound when we put it on radio. It was like, wow. People started trooping in. You know, that was the first time I met Don Jazzy too as well. You know, and Ah, I don't want to say this. Let me skip it too. <laughs> because if I say it, then this your car will also just crash. <laughs> <laughs> be nice, be, be nice. Be old. <laughs> Funny enough, this is my PA was when I was with me on that day. Do you remember the day that um, Don just gave me a wristwatch? It was you that gave that wristwatch to? I think it was paid to do a job by a particular twin called Twinex that year. Okay. Twinex had dreads. They were under, they worked with Big Bamo and Olu Maintain. Okay. They were, and Cobams too, were, they were in a team together. They wanted to work and they were sp spending, spending a lot of time, so we had to do the job together. He didn't even know me as Kesulo to then, and you know, I didn't see him too. I didn't know who he was then, but you know, I knew somebody was working with the band then, you okay. know, so he came and worked together, and that's how we met, and with, I, I, so I supported him in the production, and he loved what I did, and they're like, bro, I don't have money to give to you. Take this wristwatch. And I looked oh, at it, it was a polo wristwatch. I'm like, oh. He even remembered the make. Because it was original. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys, uh, today's old. <laughs> because I, 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 you know, at the end of the day, I liked it, but I saw my manager's, my manager's eyes was on it to my, like, mm, bah. They wear them. Um, they wear one wear clothes, they go fit and collect them. <laughs> so that was how we met. And um, a lot of just were coming to Paul's studio then. And I ended up doing actually almost them. You know, and that was how the culture started. Shaping so, and, you know, and the names and I, and I had gradually had, becoming yes, a household name. And I had, a, I, had, I had a bad ideology in my head, which I want to use the opportunity to also correct some people. Their mindset about thinking, following a big brand can help you grow. Hmm. My brother, my sister, it's a total waste of time. You need to work on yourself. Make sure you're working on yourself. Find when you do what you do right, people will come look for you. See, you said one young lady or one young girl, the way you said it, I came to Lagos to 2003 or 2004. Alakbara was not in your head at that time. Yeah. And whichever way it is, the, the truth is you pursued your career and never knew it was going to be this today. But the point is this, people should always make sure they follow the rhythm of their life. Did I say it well? That's how it came to my head. Now, that rhythm is this, God always, I feel he always have a way of pushing us through. Even if you're a Christian, you're not Christian, one thing makes us the same human and we are all under God's covering. 
there's a way he always pushes you towards sort of guides you towards to that look. right thing that but, thing you're meant to but be doing but what the killers be say most of us we always have a mindset attached to this is what I want to be this is what I want to be but you know forget that God makes you mix somebody and you say why did I meet this person you don't have an idea now out of me sounding like a pastor <laughs> you're, you're trying to not doing a good job you're doing a good job you know so <laughs> you I um, where was I okay now I what did I say before that? I actually wanted you to go. You were talking about um trying to encourage someone. Uh, okay, yeah, now I remember. I was trying to encourage. Yeah. How I was you... following, I was following a lot of big stars at that time. Yeah, yeah, I was going to do that. I did a lot of sounds people actually saw on air doing well. Like, like, like this lady, what's her, what's her, what's her name? Mumaji, Kade. Yeah. One song that sounds so Af- South African. Are you the one that did that song? Yes. Okay. You know, I had a lot going through my head because of the love of music. I felt I finished Nigeria sound. I just wanted something new. I'm the kind of person that always likes something new. Yeah, too. It's the reason why you see me stand in front of the camera and say, Yo, hi, my name is Kesolo. I am watching Kesolo in your face because I just always want to do something, something new. Different. I yeah. just always, I just put my head in things. You know, so I was pursuing a lot of them and they were using me instead of me getting the benefit of doing all that. They never wanted to associate with me because they were only getting the value I was putting on their table, but they were not seeing me as valuable. Mm. They weren't seeing me as a name they could have, they could work with because I had no manager, I had nothing. You didn't have the packaging. Ah, oh, God. Like, so you needed to... 55 years added to your years in life. <laughs> it is the packaging that is yes, it too. Yes, There was no package. We had no sponsor. Mm. We had nobody to look up to. The person we could see as our sponsor was my dad that never saw me as That's... we could invest in. So I was just that boy from the trenches that wanted to take himself to the next level. And I achieved it. I'm so happy. You know when my sister calls me and say, ah, I'm in the, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the lounge jail in UK. Every bill somebody's paying because in Nigeria because he heard that I'm your sister. Yeah. That's so wonderful. And it's that boy you that I never <laughs> believed in. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Now I was following a lot of names and they didn't do anything for me. Mm. Now let me bring people to back to the new world that actually brought people closer to my name that make them feel like he just came into the industry. Timaya. Okay. On that particular yeah. day, that Sound Sultan of Blessed Memory. My friend, very good friend. As in, I never see a friend like Sam Sultan. I've not still had one that's swinging between being a Muslim mm. and he has a very good character. You don't, you can't say he's a Christian or a Muslim. You can't yeah. define because he's a good person. Yeah. I remember him, sorry to cut you, my very first concert, 2010. I was releasing my first album. A friend of mine said, oh, I was trying to look for people to come for the concert. She said, oh, that she's related to Sam Sultan. She can get him to come. I said, really? He doesn't know me. Do you know he came for that concert? Like, I remember. That's, that's Sam Sultan. He came for it. Yeah. Like, his normal good way. He just called. Okay, go, 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 so go. He will scatter your name and call. Alpha, I know you don't get work. All of us, we are hungry with the house. Alpha, you go go for that court. <laughs> <laughs> and he called that day. Elder Dokubo, you know her? Yes, I know her. She was doing a talent hunt in Podakot called Street to Stars. And I think I, I, I remember that talent hunt. It was me, Sultan, Basaj. You know Basaj? Yes, Tara I know Basaj. Yeah. And, uh, okay, that we, we're the judge. Oh, I think I remember it. So Timaya was one of the contestants. Oh. That came to sing. <laughs> We use his mouth to play the beat and he, you know, and start singing. Then he finally got to, he got to the finals. He lost his voice. But mm-hmm. so he liked him. I liked his voice as well. And he said, okay, so look, I will fear this guy. I said, bro, I said like this. I'm a rental, you leave. And I don't know if you are carrying anybody, join body. And he said, okay, you know what? I have a friend. I'll talk to my friend. And who was the friend? That friend then was our friend, Daniel Wilson. Oh. <laughs> then I was at the studio in Lucky Face One then, you know, not as sweet as Lucky looks now. Mm-hmm. But still they love sandy soils and bushes around, you know, the studio there. 
set up and um, the studio was, I think the studio was set up by Kelvin Luciano. Kelvin Luciano, of question mark. Mm. And so the studio then was actually... I said, uh, okay, you're just taking my, taking me down memory lane. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I just, they you know? will get it. No, no, you no. Know? So he <laughs> brought Pau Soundproof Studio. So brought him out to Lagos. He was sleeping in Basocha house. So we will meet. We so were, he came to Lagos. We brought him. Oh wow! We brought him to Lagos, you know, and started working. So we took him into the studio. That was the day I produced his first song. Then call me to my. I did the beat there. <laughs> that period, I was close to a lot of rich people. When I'm rich people, big people in Nigeria, and I discovered that a lot of them sleep in the morning, and wake up in the afternoon, like, stroke evening. Their morning starts in the evening. Yeah. So at the time that people were actually sleeping, it's their day. Imagine killing Ram in the, killing Ram around 1 a.m., trying to do a song, you know, trying to make you at that time of night where people are already crossing, they don't cross over to their, <laughs> <laughs> to their village people's side. <laughs> you know, on that day, we have a meeting. Tomato already slept off. And I've seen dialogue, grown people dialogue about some of this career. Then I begin to have a new light about music. Music. Like, so there's value in this thing. Where this guy, not even know himself or... I just felt, but in my head, I just felt something. I've been like this a long time. I just felt something not good about it. And I... I had a good motive when I picked him. I just wanted to make sure that it was fine. And let me just experiment on this guy as the first young upcoming artist that I'm going to work with in my life. Like, I'm going to put everything into this thing. I have done, so in my head, I was just calculating. I've done for this person. I've done for this person. I will pass in. I will go in for a party. They will be saying, oh, look at it. And, and, and I'm going to be going, I'm going to be going, I'm going to that song. Go. And they were looking like this. Come on, get out there. I don't look like what I did. Yeah, I've got the packaging. Yeah. So, in my head, I'm like, I want to shock this people. Let me do something for young, young boy. Let me even see if you can. This is what will not downgrade again. God answered that prayer. Mm. And the next morning, I told Timaya, I don't have, I have a funny feeling about these people. Although he didn't want to go, I said, Timaya, can you go back to that court? I will. I'll set up a studio and I will call you when it's time. Do you believe? He said, yes. The next day, next boss back to the... But I saw call me. You didn't see this boy? He just come up for us in the morning. I don't know where he go. <laughs> so now, I said, but I said, come and say they go. But I go, but why you not tell me now? But with the work now, never finish on I said, that's all. And me, I made the beat. I already copied my data. I have a problem with data. Data that I have of... I have data of enjoy my life. Till date. Oh, wow. It's like I can't lie. As in legendary. It's like I can't lie. <laughs> I can't lie. showed me, showed, made a video some few days ago and showed hard disk when it was the SATA hard disk this year. Like, which one do you want me to open for you? People didn't know that I can't lie. Did. The, the AY show advice, they always see. That shows one kind of comic pictures and other. Mm -hmm. That's here too. Mm -hmm. All of us were grown to be very quiet. Yeah. They tell us, when the press write this thing against you, don't talk. We grew like that. To be timid. So our careers grew with that timidity. I didn't know whilst it was growing bigger, but the people couldn't put a face to you guys. We were afraid to talk. You know. Yeah. Things will happen, we will call press conference. Now. <laughs> don't just stay at home and type now. on your phone. Now. <laughs> the biggest, don't go there yet. The biggest, don't go there yet. I'm upset now. <laughs> now your biggest platform. <laughs> don't go there yet. <laughs> I know that. Don't go there yet. We're still Omo, on the highs. We're, so far, though. we're still on the highs. Omo, the highs is much, but we should have the time to for the highs. But the low is plenty. <laughs> Ah. I'm still on the highs. I'm still on the highs. Okay, let me do a quick one. Oh. Guys, don't go anywhere. Uh, we're still live here on Real Day with Honors. Uh, we're going on a quick break and we will be right back. Real testimonies. Real encounters. Real experiences. Real deal. 
with Onos. We're back on Real Deal with Onos, and my guest, K Sulu, has just been phenomenal. Mm. And he's still taking us on the journey. So, K Sulu, now um, Timaya went back to put her court and um, take it from there. <laughs> I said I was going to set up a studio, and I am, at that time, don't forget, Enjoy My Life was already out. Then, Sun Energy came back. After knowing I did Enjoy My Life and Work With Paul Play, he wanted to do an R&B album too because he, he has flair, he loved that kind of sound, the Davandros and all that. I'm like, bro, I want to do an R&B album. Let's go. That was when I produced the likes of Prisoner of Love, Abusede, yeah. and the rest of it. You know, I, did, I produced that album too again. We had other jobs we were supposed to do and I called him out of the blues that day. Bro, I'm not working with Paul again. I set up my studio and like, eh? Okay, so the only thing you say is fine. Bro, that production we want to. That's everything my part have, including including posts, post, post, post money. <laughs> everything will pass like 150,000. Please just send it. And he just looked at it and he sent. And the next place was Computer Village. You went to can get all the equipment. <laughs> Not the only equipment. Mm -hmm. 150 could not. So I, had, I had a taste. Okay. Because I was working on a Mac. Okay. So okay. I, I built my my Pentium 4 that year. You know, it was, the speed was, <clears throat> even Windows would call me, myself and like, <laughs> Tell Windows would call you, me. You did all right. <laughs> Microsoft, they were actually like, how come? Because, you know, <laughs> I built it the speed. Once you put on a system like this, but before you look back front, you don't boot. You know, I built the system from that place. Now, no microphone. <laughs> Do you know why I love this mic in my front? This was my first mic that I used in recording all the hits. Mm. This sure SM58. No, no hype for them. Although Nigerians are already bringing a lot of fake into Nigeria, mm. China mode, but then <laughs> it was a door. They made it SM58 and SM57. It was in a box, limited versions. Mm. I had a church I was working with then. Mm. Oh no, so I'll take that mic after Sunday service. <laughs> <laughs> if, your past, if the pastor is watching, he was the one taking it. <laughs> he doesn't even know today. <laughs> Maybe you will know today. Oh my goodness. I take that mic, take it, and bring it back on Wednesday. For music, music service. service. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. After music service, I take it again. I bring it back on Saturday evening. Don't try this in your church, please. <laughs> on Saturday evening. I could do it because I had a, I had a major position though, but because I was multitasking as side music director, head of the, um, the band, and also engineer. Okay. All together, so I, I had the opportunity to take it. So that was the mic I was using, thinking to go record before I was able to raise money. And I was not using a past my neighbor generator. Who gave that name? That person, that that thing in a past my neighbor. I don't know what that person is. Because the thinking. noise that comes from it. I passed my neighbor. neighbor yes. I think it's not have... that. I think it's it's, <laughs> it's that greed. <laughs> See, I get light, you know, get, get light. even though it's small, but the light is show, you all know the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So that I passed my neighbor generator then was Wahala. There was no money for UPS apparently. So that I passed my neighbor generator decide when your, your, your PC goes off by itself. It's one that decides to off it and come and bring it on. <laughs> Why is it working? Mm, yeah. Mm. When is it done? Mm. Computer don't shut down besides <laughs> everything you have recorded is going. <laughs> Everything you've recorded is gone. And <laughs> we walked like that. And I called to my back. Can we start up this job? We recorded the whole album. You will hear all the um all the backups. I did everything from A to Z. I put all my all my all everything I had into that song, like mm. this must blow. And few people see now. As big person that you are, let me say this to you, a lot of people that are listening today. You might, you might feel, you might feel people, <laughs> you might feel you are doing what's right. You might feel probably you are intimidating some people, you are using them, and some sort of people are not telling you. They know. 
they know. A lot of people that are, are Paul's friend, you know, are my friends. And now they're my friends. And they look at me at that time. They felt, felt, felt Paul felt they were his friends. They were his friend though. But they know a lot of things they were doing that was wrong. But they never said anything. Okay. When I left, they became my friends. Okay, they, they, they switched camp. They became my friends. At that time, I had, I had radios in my hand. I had media in my hand. I've walked to call up people and, you know. Once a song is dropping like this, I shut down the radio. I see the talk come to yesterday, like, Peter and Paul. They're not born them where if I release an album or a song. You dare not come close to the airwaves. You are done. Your song don't go even. They don't go here. <laughs> mm. You see? You have to put your glasses to Thomas, emphasize. The, the aggression that we've put into <laughs> music. You know, because there was no internet. Yeah. It was direct yeah. marketing. Yes, yeah, I need to I need to tell you where I was. I need to tell you what I sell. I need to let you know this is how it goes. Yeah. And I must be able to convince you. So it was like that. So it was intentional marketing. It was intentional deed. Everything was intentional. Nothing was me just dropping like that. No. You know, so when I dropped, I wanted to release my first single. There was a problem happening that time. That you know, um, uh, Obasanjo had an issue with the people of Bayosa. They cleared OD. It, that's where he came from. Killed a lot of people, you know, and it was a major matter that affected him too. We put it into the music. Can you put it into the music? So we called it that type, particular track, Dem Mama. Oh, that was they that Dem Mama. Dem Mama, Dem Papa, Dem... You know, we did the song then, and I wanted to push that song. I called my friend, Olisa. I want the song on your radio. I said, you know what, Kesel, let me listen to this song and get back to you. And he got me <laughs> back and like, Kesel, you know, no, that time BTFM just started <laughs> and they're trying to build one package too. They were all playing Yankee songs, two songs. So uh, apparently Timaya did not fall into the league. There was no Ninja FM then. Yeah. True. So there was no classic FM then. You know, so maybe Ubaba would have fit into one of those then, but it was only beat FM. So they couldn't play the song. So I, I look back and I did my 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 plans again. At this time, there was a lot of wealth of knowledge sitting in me. Why I was hustling, I was learning. How did these people do these things? Some people were doing it and it was just working for them, but they were not doing it right. I was seeing a lot of mistakes. I see a lot of stuff. I went back to my drawing, but now these songs will not relate with the big man. It will relate with my people's trenches. Yeah. I went back to the mainland. I looked at which of the radio was the biggest thing. It was Star FM. And I looked at it. One of their biggest AP then was one, one bombastic. I just carried my phone, Bombastic, come and hear this song is in, in the studio. I haven't even done re re mixing. And hear the case alone. <laughs> what do you need to talk for this song? It makes sense to me. Oh. But <laughs> even when BCV band, band this song, go, but you get where they take the back up, this is centering me. <laughs> Give it to me. That's how Bonas put that song on radio the next day. I started seeing people call. You play this song so time. Please, can you play that song back? You know, everything has changed now. Then yeah. people listen to radio, radio. with their True. phones and like, please, can you they request for songs? Songs. Yeah. They play that song back to back. Now, and I entered the lab bar where we say I be king. <laughs> I I I I I I get artists that time, I get artists deal with the Alaba. Ibu man will sit down in my front and say, Case of the come and hear this song, Abu Venture, T Joe. Obino, you know, countless lists, Abu Music, they will call, come hear this song. Recorded by our superstar, then, no. <laughs> this song, since they go blue. And I'll tell them, songs I put in that, okay, it's done by a star, and I'll tell them, well, Abu put some money on this one, you know, we'll go anywhere. Mm. They will sit down with me. But before then, I, I, I won their trust. I went to a few of them. That was your strategy. <laughs> can't we help me push Timaya? I want to push Timaya into this place. We don't know him. We can't push him. I look like a young boy. Again, back to what I said to you about when you're walking and you have people walking under you. You feel you're maltreating some people. You think they don't know or you feel they're actually paying allegiance to you or they're working with you. They know what you're doing that is wrong. They're not just talking. Mm -hmm. They're not just talking. So now that happens too. T. Joe had a young boy. 
that was join man under him working. And that was a bros. Come. I feel upon this song. I guess some of the female will give us money. We'll go push this song. And that boy that time was called Danko Music. <laughs> he had his own too. We printed the banners. We flooded the whole of Alaba. With the ban banners. Now we had jiggers in there that run pirates. We know mm -hmm. them one on one. We have meetings. This this song. Please, can you guys let this song at least leave for like six months before you guys pounce on it? And I started pushing. Before I knew what was happening, they called me from PH. Bam. Like, who called me was Duncan Mighty. Like, bro, what did you put inside this song? <laughs> like, my brother, they. Ugh, song, they, this song from nah, Lagos, you produce that. You put the decision for this on Lagos, now, 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 put a call. Who called me? I said, I produce this song. I said, no, be me, now, nah, one person for Lagos. <laughs> bro, where you come from? I said, I'm a full blown Yoruba man, no. But I just grew up in different part of the of Nigeria, so you can't actually attend to me. Like, in fact, I have more Igbo friends. Two dates, I can count my Yoruba friends. You know, so that was out in my blue. Now, don't forget, I said in the beginning, we we're doing music for the love of it. Yeah, there was no music consciousness in the head. You the know, business side. At the end of the day. Even Danko Music made a lot of money from us and they didn't give us enough. You know, at the long run, the Abu music we went to that time, I came back. You know what, I want to shoot a full video, a full video for this full album. And I look back, I can't abuse my friend. <coughs> Let's do this. Short videos. Oh, faculty almost the song. Woody Hawa, shot some videos. As in, people they talk about um, what's his name? T.G. Omori. People don't do <laughs> that have given us <laughs> videos that if you play to date are off the hook, you know. So at what point, I'm going to fast forward, at what point did um, Kefi come into the, the picture? Now, I, I knew, I knew Kefi's husband, ex-husband okay. then, Alec Music, you know, you had a studio would bring and like, uh, case would come and work with me, come and do. So I was doing some side production for him. So, so we did um, Branama. Okay. Where do you want to do Branama? Uh -uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we did Branama. Then we, your, your uh, case was no signature. There. Yeah, nice. Even sense. the case solo production was, was not even on Timaya. Have you guys forgotten? I think it was more. I think I heard, I heard more on Kefi. It was not even on Timaya. The album that blew Timaya was not on it. You know? It was after it blew. And in my head, I'm like, we need to be having a signature on this thing because people who didn't know who actually produced the song. That was what led to it. And factually in Nigeria, I was on a stage putting signature on songs. Major people would just, artists would just get into the studio and just say, for example, you walk and say, it's Point Beat Baby, it's OJB. <laughs> 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 but I did a proper signature sure. yeah. that I started putting on it then. But on Timaya's first album, I didn't do any of this on it. Okay. So, um, what was I saying before I switched to that? Um, um, Alex introduced. Yes. Did you do then, Branama? I that's how I met Kefi. Okay. You know, as I met a uh, very gentle. Now, now it makes sense how Timaya was featured in her song. Now, now that you said it, okay, I get it. Funny Timaya okay. didn't want to even get another song because after working with Timaya, I. I, did, I started knowing another part of him. I realized that in life, so many people are humbled by their humble background. It's not that they're actually humble. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said they're humble naturally. <laughs> you know, and we like, you know, <laughs> oh, oh, we that come from the trenches, inside 100% of us, now like 10, 15 of us, we actually did. We really actually humble. humble. <laughs> True that. The remaining 85 of us <laughs> now condition I bring our crayfish. I swear. Now can the condition make us humble like this. 
that guy can talk even though that condition just humble him out. <laughs> you know? Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, <laughs> I'm gonna fast forward um because I know you're really pass you're really passionate about the lose. I'm yeah. not going to lose. You're yeah. not going there yet. Oh, okay. So I went on and I I I started having this idea of I wanted I wanted to build a massive, you know, let me call it like a cabal on the mainland mm. whereby we can hold our music because at that time I told you now a lot of artists would bring the album to me like nice you know like when they were looking for marketers marketers I remember marketers was, was our heaven was the last resort that's yeah. the last stage yeah. then you know and I felt like okay good since we have all this power we have radio in our palm which is the place. We have TV. We have the final... You wanted to, you wanted to control the music <laughs> industry. Like I didn't want to control it. Everybody will pass I did, through. I did not want <laughs> to control it. I didn't want to control it. <laughs> okay, I take that word back. Yes. I didn't want to control the industry. Please don't go there. That, don't go that we went way. Through, we, we, it's real deal. Yeah, we went, through, real... we went through a whole... Of, we went through air. So it was like God just smiled at us. Yeah. So we wanted to... Time I wanted and us chance to, happened. Yeah, we wanted to have our own whereby we will not suffer again. Then there was now segregation in the industry whereby then I said these ones are first artists these ones are <laughs> Agege artists these ones are Ajegunle artists Artist. you know <laughs> or more ah now they enjoy it now <laughs> I tell you all these internet things I don't know everybody feel funky now you go now I come to another studio now I just do for one fine corner and take a picture and post you know we all belong to the same setting already because you have fine picture I have fine picture you are the same <laughs> That time there was nothing like that too. <laughs> it was war about which area they bring it on radio. Mm. You know, when I came in, I controlled the industry. I knew that I'm not making. I'm <laughs> not. Sh- your, it's real. Do you been real? I'm not shaking. <laughs> never. That's why I said that when K Solo drops music, there's problem. When we were going to the club, then was some certain pattern of music. They were doing. Nigerian artists started changing. They were doing hip hops too. You know? My guy, OGB, was giving hip hops back to back. He would do dance song. He would still put it on hip hop. Mm-hmm. did it for Casey Press that time. He did spend money saying, Gemenge, I did do me money. <laughs> I was like, eh? Bro, when you go to the club, when it's getting to like one, two, three, one, two, the, cha- the music changed because they don't play all the foreign song finish. You now see them playing like Kofi Olumide, Awilo. You know, magic system. Once they put it like this, are we low, low, gumba? The club will scatter. I said, okay. <laughs> What's happening to my own people now? Can't we go that direction? So that was where the first idea for Timah came from. Okay. The sound where was attached to Sukos, Makosa, and all that. So I was able to control the club. They tell you, you want your song to blow in the club? You want people to dance your song? Go and meet K Solo. Now that gave birth to Akali Kokoroko too. Kokoro is precisely the only gospel music yeah, that played the in club the club. Too. You will dance and before you then knew after that. after a while, I think after after a while, um, Igwe too now entered it a bit, a bit uh, but it, not like Kokoroko. <sighs> but if people knew Igwe was gospel music in time, but it was it was long before you knew Kokoroko was gospel, gospel music. music. True. You know, it was back. So people were asking like, how, how did this happen? It was God though. But was worse that was behind it. I'm the one that told them, like, you see, this one. Me, I'm a god, I'm a church boy. And we always have a problem to make our music spread. It's always limited in one cycle. And the message you carry is so powerful enough for it to be limited to a certain set of people. And it must pass across, it must cut across, you know. So I pushed it into the only ones that were able to fly into that place were the ones like Tokwe Alabi, and it was just more sonorous sounds. Okay. So we need a bang song to eat in the club. So I did a sample on Coco Loco. Okay. But either way, when I wanted to get Timaya on it, Timaya didn't want to jump on it. That song was a freestyle. That is fast was a freestyle. I remember because of Kefi. Okay, because I think Kefi had some downtowns in the marriage because I already met her, you know, and she was literally she was literally suffering. So men need to do well. So many to do well for themselves because, you know, regardless of what it is, I say, of this one, of what I was talking about, and just want to chip in this. If it's not working, bounce out. 
if it's not working, let it go, you know. And I don't think anybody is meant to be a slave. No woman is made to be a slave. And no, no, I don't know. I don't go too much before I begin don't to worry, go. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, Before I begin to go that <laughs> way. But trust me, I didn't like what she was going through at the moment. And you wanted to be like some... So she was like, okay, so that, what can you do for me? Okay, at that point. And she already had, she already had, had a face. Yeah. She started knowing her face. And... <sighs> I had to be asking my boys to go drive her. I think when she come to drop her home, because she shouldn't be jumping, you know, bikes and all that at that time. And I told her, see, I have one strong boy that I'm working on. I'm going to use the brand I have on him. I'm going to use the Pussy song. He's a church boy too. If people do not know, Timai is a church boy too, you know, and they can see a lot of that inside his sound, you know. Yeah. He just tried to, I try, want to sell his music to the outside world. But so on that day, I called Timai. Got to Lagos, I picked him up from the airport. Straight from the airport to the studio. I already recorded. He just got in the studio. Bam, just heard the song. Now, I arranged what was supposed to be in verse one. Was in, I mean, in the big in the, the first verse, was one that put in the second. I shall rearrange the music. Like, this thing shall more sound. <laughs> and we did the video. And, and I started massive push. And Coco Roco. Yeah, Coco was was blown. And <laughs> first time to again, a gospel artist was gonna be the best, win best um, female artist in Eddie's hip hop hip hop awards. Then yeah. too, you know, she we dragged her into so many. She did performances, you know, a lot. Yeah, like I got her from Alex family, the husband family. We drop it, you drop us in, you they carry him. Who you be? They said, like, yo, listen to my words. Off your mic. I'm violent. <laughs> when I step into something, I don't step back until I achieve it all. I mean, I don't know what has transpired between you guys. I just know a girl that is talented and is ready to work with me. I am doing business. So step back. That's how it worked. Mm. Oh, bless God. We thank God for today. And, you know, it's sad. I, I at the point I was not working with Tamaya again. Not because there was a problem, but people, the media actually preached the problem. And like I said, we were in a long time in our lives as artists and public figures that would feel like we don't talk. The media will publish stuff about us, can't see anything back. You pitch us, you pitch you guys, you know, amongst yourselves. You know, and you can't see, like, most of the songs that people heard that was done with another producer. I approved those songs. And you didn't know. And shout out to a lot of producers that should also be ashamed of themselves, that will never in their life look at a young artist and develop them. I think you guys should look, in, look into that. And you young producers and stop fooling yourselves too, following big names. I followed for years, I never profited me anything. Now we're coming to the lows. We thought about the highs. He never profited me anything. I looked at him as a nobody and he's somebody today. So stop fooling yourself and feeling that you can always, when you're working with the videos, what will help you? What ends your life at the end of the day? You just get a behind color on your head and that's the end of it. So why do you ask yourself for a young man like me over many decades in this same industry and still pulling? And you're still, I'm still the stronghold you're worrying about. You should have bothered you about it. Because when I came here, I shot everybody that was on, on Vogue. I shot them down. So now, do your assignment. What am I doing different that you're not doing? A lot of Nigerian producers just work on Nigerian artists. And once you're done with this, that's just carry the song. Thank you, ma. They go there, they are pay. And they just be expecting to hear the song on radio. Or be expecting the producer to make the magic. Some will not even put, even as of now, will not put up. I did a song for your nose. I, the one young girl come up for my place, and then I knows. They will not even talk about it. Like the owners of Deno, not the superstar city. Yeah. <laughs> they just they won't say anything. They just leave it. Oh my god. Then you carry your song, you now start be running up and down. It's a scatter. The day they find your song on top 10, whatever playlist. Oh, you always do you know this Nigerian top 10. The camera. next thing, you see that same producer now post it up. I'm done, I did that song. What were you before? A lot of them need to do a lot more for themselves than just wait for an artist to come and give you ten naira. You don't even know. You don't even know your ro your realities. You don't know anything about spreadsheet. Nothing, and you're just there. Now we move forward. But you know, um, with with the way things have evolved now, so if you're going to be speaking to 
um, a lot of our young emerging, even existing. Now, them are they talk to like mm-hmm. this now. <laughs> Maybe their brain, they correct. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of money, I, 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 and I tell you of them. I'm probably one of the one of the old school producers. You can call me is your own cup of tea, old school or new school. It's your English. That bought a house with this my music money. Hmm. As as his own house, his own property. At the time, not be now. We be say everybody now, uh, creators, skit makers. <laughs> um, the, what's that name? <laughs> What do you say? Content in, creators. Content creators. And in less than mm-hmm. six months, you don't buy Benz. After, <laughs> three weeks after, you don't buy us for Lekki. Like, <laughs> of you your know. mic. <laughs> but tr- I uh, actually went through it. Like, that's yeah. it. And it's God all the way, though. But trust me, I didn't my ten fingers. You know? If you're working right now, I think the best thing to do is be involved in what you're doing. If you do not... In terms of any music production... Any job you're into, be involved in it. Now, let me give you the the logic I give to a few ones that want to listen. If you own a warehouse and you have products in it, Mm. whenever any product is going out, it should probably be multiplying into money for you. Mm. If it's not multiplying into money for you, know in your head that that store is getting empty Mm. if you don't replace it. So what goes out of your store is your t- your intellect, is your property, yeah. your production idea is going out. That thing should bring money for you. If all you get from it is that 500,000 an artist is giving you for production, then you've lost. Yeah. Because there's more to be acquired from it. So, believe in this person. Yo, as for if you guys do not like an artist, if you feel that this person is not happy, let that artist go. A lot of people, okay, there was a time Coban's called me and like, okay, so now you're coping with people after she he, he produced that show. Every artist that comes around me is singing like Asha. <laughs> Another problem again, hmm. which I think I feel we should work on in terms of you have produced Onos. Everybody that comes you around you now sings like Onos. You lose your originality. And at the end of the day, you are selling more market for Onos. If Onos, I tell you, older brand so tight. Tight, yeah. You're selling market for more. So once I hear you, I say, ah, I like this, your song go. Ah, we sound like Onos. You know what that means? You are finished. Your studio section, you don't shop, you don't go down. Your promotional money, gone. All the stress you have done. You say the Holy Spirit gives you sense to write. You have filled the Holy Spirit too. <laughs> yeah, <I feel> it. <laughs> so, it's zero. <laughs> now, back to what I was saying. In the process, after I, I met my, after my ago went, I picked up an artist called Clever J. You know, I had the idea, like I said, build a cabal whereby we can grow ourselves, new artists, we can help them and do all that. I picked him up. I started working on him. I had use with him too. What happened on his own case? Um, somebody walked up to me someday. I have a young boy. He can sing very well. You can help him. He says, I said, okay, let me listen to him. I always work with personalities that I'm working with, not the person that introduces you or whatever. I don't even want to know. I liked him. He was had good characters and all that. Imagine finishing working a whole album for an artist. And because I'm always a plain person, and I'm going to be plenty when I die. Because at the end of the day, I want people to be to say, talk about me and tell me who I am. Talk more. I I I am I tell who I tell us who I am. Because you can you can lie on who is living, you know. But who don't die? If you lie on who don't die, hey, I don't know about I don't I don't think it's the Christian way. I want to talk about foundation now. Traditional way. Who you don't go sleep, who you will see. <laughs> You don't see that when they push you person. This is not only, this is not only movie. This is... <laughs> I want people to tell who I am, who I, what I've done, and how I've impacted their life. I've literally impacted every life that is successful in the industry from then to date. That's why we call you legendary. I'm not legendary. I'm you still are. working. I'm not. So I like the fact that. I'm not. Um, and I don't want to be legendary. You see like, why you are legendary? You see if you yeah, stop learning. They no, are, they start. They it's, start. It's, it's what, what 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 I'm basically doing is because I think we've come to a place where it's almost as if we don't know how to give people their flowers. So I'm trying to ensure that I'm giving you your flowers right here. Okay, thank you. Um, I appreciate. Yeah, I'm trying to give it to you. But because... me, I've gotten to a point now that I don't want anybody <laughs> to give me my flowers. I am collecting my flowers so by yourself. That's so, that's so. Like the same thing I say to a lot of artists <clears throat> that have come from the past and worked hard. This I said to you, I said it to some Nages on few, no, okay, 
some few months ago, like like December last year. I said, bro, it's not press about you. Now, the press is going to talk to talk about you in the way that this is them. You need to erase a lot of narrative. You need to you need to speak. You need to write your story yourself. So, mm. Because if you don't write this story, anybody want even your own blood will tell the story in their favor in any way they feel like. Right? You need to tell people. It's high time Nigeria needs documents. Put your stuff into document. Do dump it in the YouTube and then leave it there. Have two, in fact, have three views in three years. Leave it there. You'll go back to it. One day they will come for it. You know, this thing you just said is really deep. <sighs> these are things, these are things the elders say. Um, <laughs> only elders talk like this. Mm -hmm. You need to, um, we're, we're gonna wind it down from what you just said. You need to write your own story and tell uh, what people often say online now is tell your truth. Um, so in whatever you do to someone who is listening to this and watching this um, this year, every day in this year, ensure that you are the best version of yourself. Um, live each day like you don't have another day tomorrow to live. Um, in terms of your gift, if there's one thing I've actually just learned just listening to Kesulu's story is um, pouring out everything that God has put inside of you. Uh, I, I love the part where he spoke about um, developing gifts, seeing talents and investing in them. Everything that God has put in the inside of you ensure that you are the, the best version of it. Do not hold back anything. Live each day like it. You have only today to live only today to leave and tell your story. Thank you. Let for, me say something quickly. Yeah. There was a time recently, there's, there was a story that went on on, on the Pato Ranking. I just don't want to talk about it, but I just didn't put it in this year. I picked Pato Ranking from, see, before we we'll talk, it is, it is, you get pride. If you see as pride, that's your cup of, that's your cup of tea. Mm. Now, there's a young boy that Obi Kubana is, is, is sending to school. It was, it was picked up through the help of Daddy Freeze. Now, allow him to talk. Allow me to talk. Meaning that I picked Paturanke from the slum part of Abutemeta and I put him in my house. Every morning, literally, he wash, wash, wash my car. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, it's, who said, yeah, the manager? Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, when I let him go on my weekends, go, stay, go see his mom. I give him money, I give him provisions and all that. I'm saying this because some people just have wrong ideas of things. Like, they feel like when you're vocal, like you are, you, when I invest in people, I don't invest for a payback. My wife can't bear me witness to this. I say to God when we pray, I tell her, I, I, when I pray, I say, God, everything I do for any soul that exists in this world, please do not let me benefit from it. This kid the benefit for my kids. I don't want to have it. I said, and my wife, like, why do you always say these things now? I said, you don't understand. I, I'm, if That's I sleep, I don't wake up. I have fulfilled a lot. See, people don't see small wins as major. Some people are going to do blood money just to have a small win. Every win I have, I have achieved, everything I had in my life didn't come by my stress. It's God. Just, but just I was, I was, I was working hard. I hardly sleep. As I'm speaking to you, I didn't sleep to you this morning. Because I need to be here. It now, shows that you are still working. Now, I... That's why you don't want the legendary title. I am a contented <laughs> person as well. Mm. I was coming, my I was saying, won't you drive? Won't you drive? I said, no. Put me in the steering now. This is what happened to someone that is making money from it. Let him make his money now. Deep. So it's as simple as that. Now, he had a show some, sometime last year, and, and he brought Samaya to the show. If people felt Samaya met him or brought him out, I booked Samaya. I have been in a marriage before in my life that collapsed. The marriage was the first bad press I ever had in my life as K-Solo. And that's the last I've had till date. Hmm. 
where I was printed to the public as a demon. And it wasn't what, that's what, what, it was not that. It was not, it was totally wrong. I said it, thanks to Linda IKG. And city people are there at that time. They were one that were busting now. Where are they? Yo, your baby boy Kesolo is still popping. <laughs> I remember this just. <laughs> she ain't mad, me. You don't understand. So the point is this. I do not have a problem with them. They are mm. doing their job. But what happened to investigative journalism? After but that's all, why you're after, speaking. That's why you're after, ensuring just the same advice you gave to Sonny Neji. Uh, write your story. Yeah, writing your so story. So after that long, after that bad story, then you have to see China's television sitting down. Now I did an interview two weeks after a bad publication of Kesolo and his spouse sitting like this. And we're just joking. <laughs> we're just trying to know if we have fans or not. And you feel stupid. And you're coming back and saying, that is a lie. He pushed that to stick on and do that interview. And then I saw a lot of people like Casey. Alpha, Kesolo, what happened? I said, ah, if you didn't say a nah, uh, film trick, you said that she be your girlfriend, beat them now. <laughs> or make you carry um, pancake, put <laughs> red for a year. Then enjoy that bad oh press. My God. Then this you know how the, it feels. This is the realest deal ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so when I talked about, somebody called me, but I don't got a show, and apparently he didn't know, he doesn't know that Tima speaks to me. It's the cabal thing we're talking about. It doesn't know that Tamara speaks to me. So a lot of people don't feel like when they don't see you and somebody talking to a lot of people, we don't talk on the internet, but we talk every day. Someone like Kabasa, he calls me back till last night, he still called me. Kesu Lafa, Kilo Bon Pa, I'm upset too. I said, You don't call me now, you're upset. You're upset and you're telling me, go on the internet and go and tell them you're upset. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Apparently, he, was called, he called me about Sheung Kuti and Pisco Mata. Go and tell them you're upset. Off your mic. <laughs> so, he was running at that, in that concert and they almost begged Timaya to come to the show. But for a Timaya that I actually groomed, he's as open as I am too. He doesn't keep words, he doesn't censor words. Timaya, anybody that knows Timaya, that knows Timaya is a big basket. He doesn't open, he doesn't censor words. If you tell him your secret, you are finished too. <laughs> he would tell, he would just say it, and he tell you, bro, forget about it. No, but not in anybody. Do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to wrap this up. Um... <laughs> now I want, to, I want to finish this. Okay. Now I did that, and I felt I had a problem with Pato ranking. Oh, no, I see. Okay. I, I no, typed I something. I said, you know, like people call me like this boy. I know him. Not be the boy with the different at that time. How come he's saying that it's the man that brought him to limelight and all that? Like, is it not you? I'm like. And I said that day, like, within the in Yoruba, it means within the tiku you. You see the tiku you, they sweet you. When it bites you, you go shout. It's, it's, it's an adage, you know, meaning that. that so they felt I asked to his glory, I didn't let him trend okay. after his event that what I tweeted, you know, had issue. Yo, you know, I know I, fall, I don't, I don't, need, I, I don't, I'm not, I, I, I can't remember one person in the that put my phone to call. Can I get a thousand naira from the beginning of my career till date? Anybody that I call, like, hello, can I get a thousand naira? You are owing me. <laughs> you are owing me. If you are not owing me, there's nothing like that. And you they owe me. Don't they reach website? Go carry police, carry yourself. <laughs> so, but outside that, never. So, I I lived that life, meaning that people that looked at it like that, I do not owe part of ranking a naira. But frankly, I've not woken up in a day and say, which wine is even the lowest wine? I don't want to mention, so I don't do advice for them. There's, yes, one, wine, don't do advice. there's one wine that as, you know, we've been using from the days of Jesus Christ. From the time of when they say, you know, there are some drinks that you say this, Uguru drink that year. That was the only sweet drink that existed, that, that wine. He never banned for me for his life. We all oh have invested God. in his life. So oh. instead of that, how can an artist be calling boys that are high trained? That's part of ranking. Calling the boy that I trained and say, Afa, you still there, Baba? I beg you, get one somewhere I record that time. Fear me, bring the data. I told that boy, say, I say, I say, ah, God help you say you collect train you. If you collect, if, if you had open my system and take that data, ah, your family for don't forget you for where you go. You know? 
<laughs> but there's oh been a God. lot of lows. I don't want to talk about it too much, yeah. but there's a lot of eyes. And that eyes is the fact that a lot of Gen Z do not know me. I love it so much because it gave me a lot of job to do more. Mm. I liked it. I think we're going to we're going to wind down with that angle. So so what what is it like them not knowing and the ability for you to still do more? It made me as in give me a lot of jobs to do. A lot of them will come online. Who is this person, self? <laughs> <laughs> Our Instagram they verified this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. That's it. <laughs> Does he? You don't even get work. <laughs> As I'm speaking right now, please go check blocks. You see my comment. You will see right now as I'm speaking that he's still working. What does that mean to you, a young boy like you and you guys, Gen Z, to run that page? True. And they have job. And what is their job? They are handlers, and that's what they do. So if you have sense. Which is what I'm praying that God imbibed into the Gen Z's sense to think <laughs> deeper. Don't just see and jump into the conclusion. Yeah. People who are actually on Big Brother or whatever shows are on the show now. The handles is still working. So who runs it? Handlers. So use your sense to know that actually works. And I pay someone, someone that I pay has to be active. Knowing that me case I'm active, you have to be active. You know, so. It's a lot of jobs I've been doing now, and a lot of them will go back and later come back to my DM. Bros, I am sorry, please forgive me. Apparently, that one don't go do a vest investigation. Yeah, to find out who you are. Like, since this person. And bro, how come you are just so free like that on it? And I tell them I was first human, and I'm still human before Kesulu existed, and before that name public figure said the beauty whatever exists. And I don't even want to be seen like that. I want to be close to people. That's the life I've got into I'm right relatable. now. relatable. Yeah, he's right about that one. He's very relatable, very approachable. When I called him for this interview, straight to the point, no airs, no drama. I don't have time. time. I don't have time. Great guy, great guy. I don't think he's... Take a, your flower, take your flower. I don't think there's a reason why we should try and be what we are not. <laughs> you know, if I've grown to that point and they've pushed that in the heads of this Gen Z, some come and like, Baba, it's like you're always in line. And in my head, I'm like, first, my studio... I run fiber optic, 24 hours always online. When there's no light, inverter is working. It's always powered on. I'm always online. All the business yeah. I do is online. My my as in companies that I run, I manage the account online. Like AS, as in ASOP, back to back. Like as they are registering, somebody's paying money. I'm seeing it. I'm approving. And you say, oh, no, I should not be online. Yo, bro. My laptop is here again. <laughs> <laughs> so, which is to say he's a very hard-working fellow. Legendary, hard-working yeah. fellow. Sit down the look now. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now he talked about um, online. He has talked about online a lot. So I want to quickly tell us, uh, how can we, um, as many who are watching, how can they connect with you online? Give us your handles on Facebook, Instagram, and all of it. How we uh, can connect. Uh, and what you're doing presently, I know you have something you're doing presently, you want to chip that into okay. online. Just mention it. Um, yeah. Okay. We're selling. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. doing, I'm doing a whole lot right now. Um, first, my handle is Oba Kesolo. Don't forget I said earlier, Oba Kesolo is Oba in Yoruba, King Solo. That's the first part of my name, Solomon. And that's Obake Solo. And after all my handles are verified. So anyone that you see that is not verified, it's not me. TikTok verified. Instagram, Obake Solo verified. Um, Twitter. Um, Snapchat. Instagram. Snapchat, Instagram. And um, um, what's the other one? All of them, Sha. The one that you know. <laughs> Anyone that the agencies are using. I'm on it. I'm verified on all. So that's that's where you can find me. And trust me, outside the fact that people handle my page, I also see every comment that comes. So if you... Write me a message, I'll see. And I also love my emails so much. So send me emails. I reply emails faster. What's the email address you didn't give us? Or back here okay. at gmail.com. At gmail.com. Yes. So I get every email. It's like I reply my my gmails. And for what I'm working on. The new one you just started working on, it's like a podcast. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, for what I'm you you've invited me to come do here. Now I have limited time to talk. Yeah. Now I'm gonna I'm I'm making I'm making it more deeper. I'm more insightful for a lot of people. The cost of, of growing over 40-something years of my age, of my life, I have been able to find myself in so many things. Yeah. I have met with men of God. I've met with um, Islamic leaders. 
I've met with people who do traditionalists. This job has exposed me to a whole lot in my life, you know? And when I see people talk, and we, few of us, talk behind cameras, and we talk about some stuff, and I feel people need to know these things. Yeah. People keep falling for this too much. A young man feels that if I do one plus one plus two, it will make five. And those are the you know. things you really want your So sharing. I am going to be sharing that. It's case only in your face. This is what I do. This is what I'm sharing my experience and my thoughts and what I think. Yo, there's nothing I'm going to tell you on that place that this is what I say you should do. If you do it, if you make mistakes, come back and call me a bastard. You will never make anything wrong because everything is tested, trusted. And I'm not giving you what you go read in a book. Not what a white man wrote in a book, I'm sorry. In a, in a, in, in a, in a well-balanced society. I am telling you what is happening in Nigeria. You know how business is running in Nigeria, is different ways it's running in America. America. Yeah. And you are sitting in Nigeria and you are reading a book written by an American. Yeah. I think something is wrong. Yeah. So I'm telling you the way it is. So that's what case you in your face. So I'm really doing this more for the Gen Z note for the Gen Z's because I have a whole lot of them around me, plenty of them. You know, a lot of people have got, they're going, they're going through a whole lot. And I think we are beginning to throw them behind, we're leaving them behind. And, and I, I don't think it makes sense because a lot of them are being fed by what we do not, they don't need to see. And that's what Kesolo in your face. It's not a regular podcast. It is called a live cast. Life cast. Okay, this has been amazing. It's great being. I told you guys, well, we, today is going to be a different one. And well, I no, trust... I'm going to tell you, people, will, they will request, they ask me to come back again. <laughs> I know, I believe Because it. you know why? <laughs> guys, you know, I've been talking about music, 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 music. I'm also inside the political sectors as well. Make sure you do not go anywhere. <laughs> So thank you so much for being here with us. This has been an amazing ride. Thank you so much. Okay, so one thing well, also... Come and give me water, please. <laughs> See, he doesn't want me to virtues, sign up. Virtues have left me. <laughs> he doesn't want me to sign up. I'm going to take it again. Take it I'm signing up. So make sure... Uh, firstly, you, you follow him on all his social media handles, which he has put down here. And um, he's one man who is reinventing himself. So whatever you do this day, make sure you are a better version of everything that God has put inside of you so you could see from his story that he has ensured that I'm not just going to be stuck behind. I'm going to ensure that everything God has put inside of me impacts this generation. So what are you doing with that gift? What are you doing with that talent? What are you doing with that thing that God has put in your hand? Ensure you run with your life. Thank you for being a part of Real Day with Honors. Make sure you hit the subscribe button here. My name is Honors Ariel. Thank you. And lastly, before you say that last last thank and you. And God bless you. Real testimonies. Real encounters. Real experiences. Real Deal with Onos.